All right, welcome everybody here on Twitch and also on YouTube for our next donation deck, Mardu Control. So we have a control deck that's kind of built around using Theater of Horrors for our win con. Um, well, you know, we have other things as win cons. We got our, pl our Planeswalkers also, but I'm, I'm excited to play these Theater of Horrors uh, in the deck here in a control shell. Uh, so that's, I think that's going to be uh, pretty nice here. I think one thing, um, actually, Ray Day Pinball, are you in here? I think one thing I'm a little worried about, actually, now just kind of looking at this a little little more, is, yeah, I I really think these lightning strikes should be Lava Coils. I think Lava Coil is um, much, much, much better than Lightning Strike. Uh, and I think just that that would be a really big upgrade. Um, and actually, that's what Press Any said that actually just right right now as I was saying that Lava Coil would probably be better than Lightning Strike. Yeah, I, I actually think that would be pretty good there. Um, uh, but yeah, besides that, we have we have like a lot of creature removal with our wraths and and everything else. Um, I guess strike because okay, I guess that makes sense because of theater. We can have strike turn on. We also have contempt that gets to exile stuff. So actually, we'll we'll try the we'll try the strike because of theater. So okay. All right, I, I, I can try that. I can dig it. Um, in the sideboard and like we can have like a a burn spell. Uh, plan uh, with with like these cards here the strike shock and electro dominance um, our sideboard is is clean we have four cards that's it we have duress fountain of renewal cry of the carnarium and bane fire and that's it so hopefully one of these four cards is good against our opponent if not we're we're chilling with our main deck so that's what we got here we got we got a couple consumes also for uh for like carnage tire and stuff we got that covered we have a kai's wrath yeah so let's let's try it out and like with angrath like taking up dealing damage actually that makes lightning strike better so actually i'm not i'm not hating on these lightning strikes as much anymore all right mardu control where you at there you are Then I just go to play. Choose your deck. That's what I was choosing. Hawkeye's like, I wanna be on I wanna be on here. How you doing, Hawkeye? He's like, I wanna take your spot. Hawkeye's playing this game. Well, I certainly really like Jaya Ballard, so I'm excited to, to play some Jaya. Uh, we have a mirror match to start with. Heretic. Heretic man with the sub. Awesome. Welcome to the stream. That is sub number eight on the day. And uh, should bump us back down, yep, to 48. All right, so we're gonna likely, likely mortify the Priest of Forgotten Gods. I guess I, it's not like, so, Priest says any number of target players each two each loses two life and sacrifices a creature. Oh right, Mortify costs more mana. I was like, why do they not even let me cast Mortify? Anyway, um, it's not like Playcrafter where if you don't have a creature to sacrifice, you just start discarding cards. So let's get the Tithe Taker out of there. Because that thing has afterlife, so I'm using my exile spell on it. And yeah, these are just basically one twos, because I'm not gonna really have the creatures. Hmm. Uh, 
That was a pretty good play by my opponent, keeping up the priest this time. So they can sack their creatures and draw a card. And I lose two life. Kill that. What does Karn bring you in this deck? Just card advantage. Um, yeah, you just get to tick up, hit land drops with it, um, and uh, you can use like Jaya to cycle those lands also. I don't think play Ravnica works anymore. At least I'd be surprised if it did. Are you sh I know what I'm doing. All right. Do you think because of Priest of the Forgotten Guard God flavor text God cards could be in the next set? No, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get god cards here. Alright, Cry of the Carnarium is, is awesome. Love it. Uh, the Exile, the minus two, minus two. Uh, real good. So let's certainly get that card in here. Um, consume. Yeah, Game Award doesn't work anymore. Either. I don't think I want consume, right? The the constant constant consecrate consecrate part of it is really not the worst. They could certainly be playing gruesome menagerie to get creatures back. Um, so I, I don't hate consecrate. I don't know if that's better than other things, though. Hmm. It's a lot of three mana removal spells. I think I'm taking out a Bedevil. I'm gonna take out a Bedevil. <laughs> yep, Hawkeye's having a good time. Yeah, I like. Oh, because they'll have Mortify. I don't. I don't know if they'll have Mortify. We didn't play a single enchantment. Um. I wouldn't think that they all have Mortify, but I, I think they may have Theater, so I want to keep Mortify. Uh, we want we killed all their creatures and then played a Jaya Ballard and then conceded to the Jaya Ballard after we killed all their creatures. No, the Cry of the Carnarium. They miss land drop here, so they probably just have a, a bunch of three drops like Midnight Reapers, Judiths, all that kind of stuff. Consec oh yeah, Consecrate would have been good against Gutter Bones, that's true, that's good, that's a good point.
I'll make use of that later. There is theater horrors. Please stop. The choices we make reveal who we are. <laughs> Alright, if you want theater horrors, we we can have theater horrors too. The theater of horrors mirror. All right, they're hitting us, so they get the land drop. And of course, they know about the Kai's rat, so they're debating on what to play. Looks like a Midnight Reaper. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. We could electro dominance into a wrath. Not sure if that's really what we need to do though. Kind of want to minus and get back another wrath, but looks like all right. So our opponent's giving us another theater. Um, I want to contempt this midnight reaper. So I think I'm just gonna play land pass with the intention of. Contempting Midnight Reaper. Wrath does not seem decent. They draw three cards. Um, and like Gutter Bones is like easy to get back. I, I do not want to Wrath. Like I, I need to get rid of the Midnight Reaper before I Wrath. But like I guess I, maybe you're saying minus Karn for Wrath. Minus Karn for Wrath could be de would would have been fine. For a second one, we're gonna need we're gonna need a, a few rats here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what that's what you're talking about. Gotcha. My bad. I do not feel pain. Oh yeah, our opponent could have sacked to Pontiff. Whoops. I didn't time that too well. Let's get another theater going. And I'll pick up another wrath. This will aid us. Alright, we're double theatering. We're going to just do 15 upstairs to our opponent. So what do we have here? It's a bunch of stuff. So let's... Let's shock them. Get these. Strike. Judith. Yeah, the minus two, minus two kills the pontiff. Yes. Please stop.
<laughs> you think we're gonna mill ourselves? Now we're gonna, we only have to do thirteen to our opponent. That's not that's not too much. Like lightning strike can put him down to ten. Electro dominance right now can deal uh, six right now. Seven next turn. I will be better prepared next time. Yeah, exile all all creature cards and all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. So yeah, so that that gutter bones that got sacrificed should have been exiled. All right, let's ping him. What do we got under here? We got another land and a mortify. Destroy their theater horrors. That sounds good. Yeah, Karn. If there's a new Karn, the new Karn can grab uh, cards from the old Karn with the silver counter. Yes. Yeah, Mortify was a previous from a previous old set. That was a reprint. That's pretty rude. Alright, so we won't have lethal this turn, but we're gonna have lethal next turn. Oh, now... Then I guess I, I could have had lethal this turn if I would have cast that shotgun end step now. Right? Oh wait. So Electro Dominant, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Uh, no, we're good. All right, yeah, we're good. So we can shock. Electro dominance for seven. And cast lightning strike for free. And there we go. All right, so first game, the plan worked. Those theater horrors look pretty sweet. Comparison thoughts between Teamer and Bant midrange. I, I like what Bant's doing a lot more than what Teamer's doing. Um, yeah. I like Teamer more. There we go. That was pretty cool. Ugh. Yeah, it turned out drawing four cards a turn was pretty good. Hey, yeah, no problem. We are in, we're playing Mardu Control. Um, oh, sorry, feel the power, sorry. In an Esper Control, how many Cry the Carnarian would run in the sideboard? Two, three, or none? Um, certainly not none. I like two or three more. I think, I think you're kind of, kind of running at two or three, depending on, you know, the rest of your deck, how, how you feel and all that kind of stuff. I like three. Um, I could certainly see two, though, also. Um, either one. Hmm. Let's go to the bottom. We already have a couple other removal spells. Let's look for look for something that like helps us press an advantage. So, um, you know, looking for like a planeswalker or a theater of horrors. All right, mono blue aggro. Can I get that lightning strike back? Yeah, certainly don't like how I got rid of that lightning strike right about now. I 
I could always just I could always just try to mortify this curious obsession. I would stop dive down from like killing me. Our opponent certainly has some kind of protection, I would assume. I'm going after the Curious Obsession. Darn. That would have been great if my opponent played a dive down. Can I get that lightning strike back please? That's the tough part about scrying, uh, you know, turn one against an unknown opponent. Like this scry may have... Like, actually having the scry may have cost us this game. Like, if we just didn't have the scry, we would have just drawn that lightning strike. And that that lightning strike... Yeah, you know, like, that, that may have cost us this game. Yeah, absolutely like Lyra against Aggro. Absolutely. Down to five. Or taking five, sorry, down to six. Taking five. We need Kaya's Wrath. Okay. That works. Uh, might as well play around. Might as, well, might, as well, might as well play around a spell pierce. You could have another one. Oh, Storm Tamer does counter it, doesn't it? Because it's target player. Yeah. All right. I'm taking that card out. That's just too expensive. Here, and let's get in these duresses also. Um, okay. So duress and cry coming in. Uh, no, mono blue would not exist without Curious Obsession. It's the best card in the deck. Um, either that or Tempest Chin. Those are you can't really take out either card. For mono blue. Um, yeah, I mean, Karn, Jaya Ballard are not amazing, but like, like there are ways to, you know, gain advantage once we stabilize with the other cards. Um, Vrasa's Contempt is a really expensive removal spell, um, but it is an instant. I think Electro Dominance is actually, maybe that's a cut. Because they just counter the electro dominance, I don't get to do the other thing, and that's that's just going to be even more expensive than contempt. Do I really want Angrath? All right, I'm going to cut Jaya with taking dominance out. And one theater of horrors. Banefire is not counterable, that's true. If we you know we have to have six mana, so we're spending like a six mana removal spell, but it can't be countered. Well, let's hopefully draw land. 
Um, turn one or turn two duress. I I want to nab Curious Obsession with this with this dur early duress. Um, if I wait, they could have. Sp no, yeah, I'm I'm gonna wait. Yeah, wait till turn two. Let them draw this card. Ah, I could add him on both turns. Dang it. All right, this is so risky. We need to draw land for this Mortify. Okay, they're not even they're not even saddling up the curious obsessions. Well, that's good news for us. Spell Pierce again? Why can't they just have Dive Down? It's just never... Alright, well, we were very fortunate, so it's okay. Got rid of those things. I don't think they'll have another spell pierce, right? Seems a little unlikely. <laughs> Please. I guess this could be the dive down, though. I guess I, I, I don't know why I wasn't thinking of dive down. I was just thinking of spell pierce. I did not play around dive down at all. Yay, no dive down. Styles coming Your in with the support there. Freedom? A fair price. Thank you so much, Styles. Sub number nine on the day. And down to 47 more subscribers until our next 12 hour stream. Um, thanks, Styles. We're also doing a 12 hour stream whenever we get to 1500 YouTube subscribers as well, if you haven't checked out the YouTube channel. No fire, no steel. So what are they getting rid of? They got rid of Merfolk Trickster to save that Curious Obsession. It looks good for us here, but, you know, the game's not over yet. Donation decks are $20. Lots of information down below uh, in the info panel. But yeah, it's just $20. You get to pick also which day you want me to play it because I stream every day of the week. So you can pick which day and also which uh, which slot first through fourth. No you know, five. We play, four, no I play uh, four decks a day between three to ten. And that was a, just a perfect turn for us. Getting removal spell for Storm Tamer. Another Theater of Horrors. This game looks pretty over now. So yeah, so if you have if you have a brew that, that uh, is for anybody, you know, if you have a, a brew you want me to try out, and uh, or 
Um, no fire. Or if you even just want no me to build around a couple of cards. Like yesterday we played a Revel of Riches, uh, Smothering Tithe deck. Um, that, you know, is just... Yeah, go, I can go real janky, because, yeah, it was just build around Smothering Tithe. Uh, was kind of the thing there, and built Revel and Riches, Smothering Tithe deck. And we went 5-1. Um, so even if you just have, like, a couple cards that you, that you want you want played, you can also donate for that as well. I can build the deck for you. Gonna keep up ticking up the. I'm just gonna keep ticking up the Angrath. No fire, no steel. They're down to ten. All right, can we get game three on the draw? This will certainly be the tough game. Theater horrors looked really nice there, but of course it looked good because we had the Angraths. Angrath looked awesome, though. I wonder if we should have, have more Angraths. Maybe we need to play... Maybe we need to build an Angrath Theater of Horrors deck. Angrath Triggering Theater is awesome. We need to build around that a little more. And go even even harder the Mardu Control deck here with, the, with Angraths. So question before was, why not Duress before the Angrath tick up? So uh, I, I didn't really expect them to, to discard the Curious Obsession there, but I wanted I wanted my opponent to not... Um, to not have the information that I had Duress whenever they were making their decision to what to discard. But I guess they could have discarded the Obsession, kept a creature, and then the Duress missed. So we, it could have been worse for us for sure. How, how are we doing on black sources in our deck list? We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 17. We have 17 black sources. I want to keep this. Like, I like the shock right away. And, of course, cry and, like, these other cards, like, these cards are awesome. I think I'm going to keep this. The shock is real good. Love taking out that first creature right away. No black, but we have 17 black sources. We did not draw one there. I know I could, like, go to their upkeep and cast the, the lightning strike there. Uh, but in their upkeep, they'd have Wizard's Retort turned on. Um, so I just went ahead and, and cast it there, but our opponent had to, a perfect hand. They had two one drops, and they had protection, and obsession. It's just, it's just a perfect hand. Yeah. Yeah, that was... This is in their, like, top 10% of hands, for sure. Speaking of top 10%, Inglewood Jax gets us to sub number 10 on the day. That means we're cracking another pack open after this. Thank you so much, Jax. Yeah, we're going to need a top tech of Black Source for Kai's Wrath and them not have a counter spell. We need both of those things to happen.
Considering so they didn't even play a land or anything. It's really unlikely this resolves, but we gotta try. Bleh. That was a great hand for the opponent. I can't be too mad at it. I played... Um... Mono blue one time and went 5-0 and had a lot of a lot of hands like that. It, it felt like it was an awesome, awesome deck. All right, we'll we get a a free pack for the week. So let's crack crack open free pack. Another thrash threat. We had one one of those earlier, and we're getting a, an extra pack for getting to 10 subs on the day. Let's finish out Guilds of Ravnica. I think I only have one rare. I think it's just a Tajik. Is the, like one last Tajik is the only card I don't have four of in Guilds of Ravnica. I think. The worst is if this is a Mythic and we just get uh, gems, though. All right, there's our Tajik. So I think I have the playset of Guilds of Ravnica now. So that one's finished out. All right, one one with Mardu Control. I bet it's a Tajik. I win. What I get? No, I don't have an, an arena collection tracker set up. Hmm. So I think y'all just witnessed me opening the very last Guilds of Ravnica pack I'll ever open. That's history right there. That was the very last Guilds of Ravnica pack ever going to open. No ducks! Joining that sub... I don't know, party? The sub boat? Correct, you cannot open up cards you already have four of anymore on arena <laughs> if you buy more gnr packs you can generate 20 de 20 gems each though i'll pass oh i'm gonna uh, receive one gnr pack at the end of the season Well, good news we're playing against Grixis while we have Theater of Horrors. Bad news is one of our Theater of Horrors gets taken. Yes, the, the four of thing is only true for rare and mythic, yes. Alright, so they did not want Nicol Bolas, which is kind of surprising. Nicol Bolas is a really good card. I'm, I'm glad. I don't want them to have Nicol Bolas either. I mean, Nicol Bolas is hard to deal with. I don't know. Maybe I should shock so I could just ping them with Theater Horrors. Pay two life to deal one damage. That doesn't seem worth it. Um, I guess I'm getting rid of Electro Dominance. It's either Electro Dominance or Jaya, because I need I need fifth land, shock them, contempt Nicol Bolas. Maybe we should just get rid of Jaya. We have we have theater for a card advantage already. All right, we found more removal. And I guess I don't even need to do all of this now, but I'm already kind of doing it so. Uh, I guess I could just Kaya's Wrath. Save a Contempt. I guess I could have just cast the Kaya's Wrath and saved the Shock, but too late. Dang it. Now I wish I would have saved that Shock. Ever seen water burn? You will. 
I guess I would have probably had to discard that shock. What should I aim for first? Think fast. So getting uh so it's good to have empty hand against Angrath, right? So um you know I'm not gonna cycle that land away, I'm no just gonna play fire. the land. I also no need more steel. lands to, to kind of be able to like activate uh over here and and cast. Oh, Lazav? Heck yeah. That's pretty sweet. Hmm. I want. Ping them here. So Lazav, of course, can turn into a Nickel Bola, so it can be a four power thing. We'll add mana to cast Instants and Sorceries. Electrodominance is only from hand. I cannot, like, do an Electrodominance. And, uh, you know, I can't do, like, a big Electro Dominance and cast, like, Contempt or something like that. I'm ready for a rematch when you huh. are. Well, I'm glad they didn't bedevil that earlier. That was all just on the battlefield of, like, the things that we were going to do. No, they cannot. They cannot uh, transform Lazav into the the Planeswalker Nicol Bolas. No. They can make Lazav into like they can have two Nicol Bolases here, if they want. is at my disposal. I always have an answer. Oh, auto tap? Wait. Why couldn't I do this conse consecrate? Like, didn't I? Yeah, I had the mana. Why, why wouldn't it let me? It's only during your turn? Oh, Theater of Horrors is only during your turn. Right. Well. I was like, Consecrate's an instant, though. It's not only during my turn. Right. Oh, well, I should have done that. Should have cycled. But we got fortunate. We got a, got a Contempt there. So that's that's pretty fortunate. All right, hopefully we get a land uh, with one of these two. Because then land land will let us do the consume part. Uh, Stunton, yeah, I had a... Um, I had a statement on my Twitter account in October.
I kind of want to just cast the Bedevil, honestly. Just to get out of my hand against, like, the Disinformation Campaign deck. But I, I certainly, I'm pinging them here because I want to play the land, right? So I'm playing the land. But then I think I'm actually going to Bedevil, even though Consume is a better card for us to... Consume's like a better card. We get to gain the life and all that kind of stuff, but... Um, I don't want to have cards in my hand against them. Bedevil destroys artifacts, creatures, and planeswalkers, so they cannot destroy uh, theater of horrors with Bedevil. Hmm. Alright, two creatures. There's a lightning strike. Man, they do not tap very well. Oh! Cancel. Hmm. Because I'm not going to be able to cast the Lightning Strike. Z. Cancel. Okay. Um... Yeah, because I'm not I'm just not gonna be able to cast anything with that. So let's just go and Grath. Steal this Thief of Sanity, hit them. Get a new card. Here be monsters. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. They of course can turn Lazav into a Thief of Sanity, so they could still like have a Thief of Sanity. Oh boy. Hostage Taker is pretty great. No, they, they probably just use instant speed removal in response to the Hostage Taker. I think I want Phoenix. Yeah, I think I want Phoenix. Because I feel like if I if I get Hostage Taker, I try to play it, they like just kill Hostage Taker in response to the trigger, and then it doesn't do anything. Yeah, Phoenix will just be a permanent egg. Um, okay, yeah, they're just turning that into Thief of Sanity. And they're hitting us. Two lands and some other card. Yeah, theater is giving us the second hand that we don't have to worry about these thought erasures and disinformation campaigns uh, tearing up our hand here. Hmm. All right, we get to play more things this turn with Angrath staying alive. We don't no have to worry fire, about paying four mana to turn no on theater this turn. Um, I still don't have anything with Electro Dominance though, unfortunately. So I think I can... So I consume Dominance for one and Strike. Oh. Wow, I could have just shot them? Why was I... I just never even... Why was I not thinking? One, two, three, four, five, six... Let's see, five, eight. Yeah, I could have I could have done eight. I could have done eight, because I could, I could have just dominance for five, and then cast Lightning Strike for, for that amount. Yeah, I, I could not Electro and cast dom or Strike for free, but I could just save two mana for Strike, and then still Electro for five. So yeah, I just had Lethal here. I'm not going to worry about it, though. We're going to play on. Still in a wonderful spot. I 
That's not Miss Lethal, it's Ascended VM. Yeah, with the land drop. Dominance for eight. Yeah, I didn't really realize they were so low. You know, I was just focused on killing their creatures. There. No fire, no steel. Deck didn't quite help us out there. Our good choice. Lazav. It's a lot of Lazavs. Is that that's their third Lazav? What's this other card? Just another Karn. No fire, <laughs> no steel. Let's see if this works this time. There we go. All right. Grixis control. Let's get these duresses in. I think that's about all I want to do. Um, I don't really love Banefire in this matchup because maybe I should just be Banefiring though. To play uh, to play best of three on Arena, there's a switch you need to toggle, which is around this area of like where the box is currently on my screen. It's around this area on the homepage. It doesn't look like a, a switch. Or a button, um, but it is. Yeah, I, I don't like Banefire against Disinformation Campaign and Thief of Sanity, or sorry, and uh, Thought Erasure and all that kind of stuff. Really don't like it, like how it just takes your hand up. Um, let's get rid of two Kaya's Wraths and yeah, Jaya's good. And these two consumes. It's just four mana sorcery speed removal. I like keeping in the shocks, lightning strikes, stuff like that against all these Thief of Sanities and things like that. Haven't had a chance to play the new expansion. What are your general feelings so far? Also, I don't see Jeskai on the MTG Goldfish meta list. What happened to it? Uh, Jeskai has, for the most part, been replaced by Esper early on in the format um, because of Esper having a four mana hard sweeper with um, Kaya's Wrath and a really good removal spell with um, uh, Mortify. Duress the duress. But the standard has been a whole lot of fun um, ever since uh, RNA's come out. It's been, you know, we've just been playing different decks all the time. And, you know, like, there's just so, mu so much stuff to explore in this format still. Alright, come on, lands. 
We don't have much. We have three lands and only four cards in hand, but our opponent also only has three lands and four cards in hand. Well, you know, they just hit a land drop, but... Uh, so we're, we're sitting on the same... Same wavelength here, as far as cards. I think I think Michael Jackson was asking Angrath if he was okay. Are you okay, Angrath? New sets are released four times a year. Theater Horrors. There we go. Card advantage. Let the card advantage begin. It is a little risky using the Mortify there instead of waiting for, like, um... Instead of waiting for, uh, Nicol Bolas for Mortify. But we also had Kaya's Wrath and, um, wanted to just kind of use my mana there. Hmm. More theaters. <laughs> Any thoughts on Soul Time midrange? Um, it's it's certainly a good deck, and it's it's a really good uh, week one deck, really easy to build with. Um, wait, what happens if they copy with by just kind of taking the Golgari shell that we know is really powerful? Um, if they copy Doom Whisperer, oh, they don't have the mana to copy Doom Whisperer. Okay, so I think I'm just good here then. I guess they could have counter magic though, of course. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I don't want Angrath to get countered. We have not seen a counter spell so far, but I would think they would have it after sideboard. And I'm going to just use this card because it costs a whole lot more mana. Alright, so we get to strike them. Oh, I should have played my land for my hand. I could have just played one of these lands. I guess I would have had to shock, but... We good. Oh, wait, no. It's good to play the lands from hand, right? Because we want to clear our hand. Alright, never mind. It wasn't good to play land from hand. Discard that land. Hit more land drops. Land drops are important. I'm gonna mill out. Probably will not mill out. Possibly could mill out. Nah, probably not.
Gates made 20th at SEG. Confirmed tier 1. <laughs> um... Stand back and watch a master at work. Is it hot in here or is it just me? My Jaya Ballard! No! Oh, we do not have a showstopper in here. Alright, let's get a new 12 card hand. I don't like this one card we have. Let's see what else we can have. Alright, these look better. Let's play a land and a Jaya. And this is your we'll tick up. In pyromancy. Get some mana. Stop contempting. And yes, fight fire with fire. Lightning but strike. What kind of fire? <laughs> the duress. I have three hands you cannot look at with that duress. Yeah, I have I have multiple audio tracks going on right now. And uh, yeah, so the music, I don't upload the music to YouTube. Do we have anything to do? We can duress. Hostage taker. Uh, let's play this land. And let's shock you. And I could play another theater here, but I don't think we need another theater. Uh, let's just keep on pinging them. Fourth theater or riot. So fourth theater, or I have to choose between a 1-1 one -one counter or haste. Never seen water burn? You will. No fire, no steel. Um... Yes, this one. No, I want a black source. God the shrine. Five more turns till we're milled out. That's not many turns. Boom. Opponent didn't want to see if we would mill out. And we are at two and one. Theater Horrors is awesome. Oh man, how confusing would that game be on paper? You'd you just like you'd have like your lands and stuff. You just have like all your theater horrors cards like behind your lands, I guess. But you have to like differentiate which cards are which theater though, in case a theater dies. Yeah, that'd be tough. All right, two and one. So we got one more deck after this, Rakdos Menagerie. Um, and here we go. I can keep this. Certainly important for us to hit our land drops, and especially with our opponent going to six. Like, we can draw some removal. We got lots of removal in our deck. Should have done four theaters for the YouTube video. I was I was thinking about casting it that turn. Honestly, I think that turn I was probably going to cast that four theater. 
I really think I was going to. I wanted to, you know, I didn't see what, what all I exiled there, but I think I was gonna, gonna go ahead and get that done. All right, menagerie, right, menagerie is the correct pronunciation of that non-French word. Uh, strike the land of war elf from the record. Right, where are, where are these chain whirlers? Yeah, Ill-Gotten Gains could be a, a pretty good card for this deck. Hmm. It's really good at turning on Theater Horrors, of course. For Kaya's Minus ability? No. No, they're they're not in your graveyard. They do not count um, as part of your graveyard. Let us begin. It's not even the best planeswalker in my hand. Hold you, opponent. Well, unfortunately, Jai Ballard adds three red mana. Um, so we are not going to be able to play Jaya, tick up for mana, and Bedevil. So we're, we certainly need to Bedevil this Vivian. So we're just going to go ahead and do that and play in this tap land. Okay, good to know, Tatter. Uh, yep. Let's find some new cards. Time to do you doubt a monster strategy? There's some new cards. Let's get this land in here so we can double spell next turn with Bedevil and Mortify. So they get two cards. All right, if I add three red mana, can I cast everything? Can I cast theater of horrors? And uh, yeah, so theater plus that plus that. Yes, I can. Do I want to cast Theater of Horrors or do I want to So I can I can either cast everything, I can either get, you know, play everything, play the land, play the theater, play these, kill two things. Um, and then I just have Jaya plus Theater against Branch Walker and the two cards in hand. Or I can just go Mortify Bedevil for my six mana and I can use Jaya to cycle the theater and the Clifftop Retreat. I think I'm actually I think I'm gonna cycle. Um, I think we already have pretty decent card advantage with this Jaya. Huh. Well. So we can just Dominance plus Bedevil. I could... So let me let me wait on next turn for that. Let's just mortify and bedevil. That's not really saving us anything. Next turn we could have like a planeswalker or something. We want to like electro dominance and put a planeswalker into play kind of thing, um, or something that just costs more mana. Jiblard can of course add mana towards electro dominance. And I'm saving the land in hand because of Jaya's filter ability. How we can we can discard, we can rummage the land away. Which I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Combat requires strategy and impulsivity. We may find a Kaya's Wrath in here. And Grath Mortify. Ugh. 
I guess I'm just going to Dominance Mortify. There's not really any reason to wait. So Angrath, or sorry, so Jaya Alt. So Emblem. Oh, which I can cast all the instant and sorcery cards from my graveyard. Seems reasonable. A true There's not. Yeah, there wasn't a way for me to really play around in gate. No land still, so I can't Electro Dominance and Angrath still. I got Dominance plus Theater. Here be this. Monsters. I don't want you drawing a card. I want to draw a card. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. There's that land. No fire. No steel. I can just still cast these at any t time, right? Yeah, I don't have to like... You know, I can cast instants on their turn still. I'm not using the burn spells. I want to be able to save the burn spells to go upstairs. Uh, so I'm not using Lightning Strike. And we can turn on Theater no Horrors with the Tick Up. No steel. Yeah, we're getting close to killing our opponent. With Burn Spells. I don't think I need to be too hasty about it. Yeah, Angrath plus Theater is really sweet. So they're at 13. This should do it. And there we go. Alright, game two. Uh, bad news is I don't really have anything to bring in <laughs> with our four card sideboard here. Oh, our sideboard's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything to bring in. Um, yeah, duress could hit like. Vivian and like they likely have like negates and stuff now like they're gonna have like negates Cry could be okay, I guess um, Yeah, cry can take out the merfolk and land war elf Is that better than the other things I have? Yeah, any good Simic decks? Yeah, check out uh, check out my stream decker. Uh, look for a deck called Simic Adapt. I like that deck quite a bit. I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep this the same. Let's just try running it back. It's 
going to be a lot harder to win these games. Opponent's going to have a lot better interaction um, with the help of Duress and Negate. Um, and also our opponent was on a five card hand that last time, which made it a lot easier for us. Yeah, I'm think yeah, I really like a Theoral Absolution in the sideboard also. I think that could be a good a good sideboard card. I like the a Theoral Absolution quite a bit. I expect Contempt to leave here. Um because of Vivian. Mortify. Hmm. Bolt the bird. I only have three other cards. Let's slow them down. No Vivian this this next turn, please. No lands. Alright, Bull and the Bird did its thing. That was also like their second green source, because you know you see we see they have Island Swamp. Um so like they could be chilling with Jade Light Ranger here that they can't cast. <laughs> oh, find finality on the land war elf. Kill that. They probably have a great hand. They just can't... Can't do anything with it. Just pinging them and getting the, the isolated chapel for free out of there. Hey Eddie, doing really good. <laughs> oh, that land war elf is good. dying so much. Alright, they found an explore creature finally. He's one they can play. It'll be interesting to see if they play this land werewolf also or not. Okay, choose a knot. Might as well use this Kai's Wrath that they, they know about. Yeah, you can't... Oh, so why didn't I bolt the walker? Because I was just planning on Wrathing. Yep, we're playing some Mardu Control here. So good old Mardu Control, getting two cards a turn. Oh, that card's a problem. Where's my Wrath Effect again? All right, that one's a problem. They're at 19.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I dominance for eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, we're a little bit away from killing them, admittedly. Yeah, consume would be a good one. So we have we have three other wraths and two consumes. So we have five we have five cards that answer this carnage tyrant. Now we're really looking for the three other wraths. If we get enough burn spells though, we can finish them off maybe. Oh, is that a Kaiserath? That's a Kaiserath. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we were. We would have been able to do 11 to them, but. Now we don't need to worry about it. I'll cast this one right here. Maybe I should have just lightning striked them. Dang it. To be able to play the other theater. Hmm. Alright, strike them. Eight damage, so close. So I can kill them next turn. Yeah, that the Wild Gr yeah, without that Wildgrowth Walker trigger. Well, I mean, the three damage went upstairs anyway, I guess. Um, yeah, I can kill them next turn with this Electro Dominance. Keep making that face and a great power requires sacrifice. Hmm. I just hope they don't have a negate. I guess I should just play the Karn there. Nah, we just have to hope they don't have a negate. Oh, that is horrible. Um. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that's gonna cost me. That's the problem with playing the Jaya. If I just don't play the Jaya, they, they don't really get to do that. Because they can they can exile their own thing. Do I wanna just bedevil my Jaya? Just to save two life? They go to twelve? Down to 11. Yeah, I mean, I guess this, this turns shock for lethal for me. So I need to draw... I need to draw shock or lightning strike. I have to draw shock or lightning strike. Or Kai's Wrath. Or consume. Any of those. And the shock or lightning strike have to go to my hand. Uh, consume or Kai's Wrath can go to the theater or my hand. That's a Kai's Wrath. That one will work. That'll do. That's a huge tilt. Good draw. We were going to be able to Electro Dominance and kill them the next turn if they didn't gain six life here. Of course, I was just lucky there. Though. I've been I've been lucky this game. You know, I can't really complain. I've been very lucky this game. I 
So we know they're drawing Midnight Reaper. I can Dominance and play Karn and just have Karn make a blocker. Um, it's probably just the safest play. Two, three, four, five. I will fight with honor. Getting this land drop out of, out of there. Because we know they're drawing Midnight Reaper. Some solutions must be built. So we know they're not going to be able to stop us from blocking here. Oh my gosh. Really? Land, land? That was two turns in a row for whiffs for us. Well chosen. Man. That was close. Um, I kind of want to cry at the Carnarium. Hmm. What am I taking out? Maybe taking out a Planeswalker against all these Contempts they're playing. I'll take out a Karn for a cry. Mortify is good. No, Mort Mortify is just fine. Just, just one. Yeah, it works like murder, but it's certainly it's an important card against like large wild growth walkers or uh, hydrocrasis. Like we need to have hard removal spells like Mortify. Uh, we have a lot of damage based things, and like our contempts and bedevils are a little stre stretched towards planeswalkers also. Why cry over ritual set because of the uh, because of the exile and also because of cards like a Danto Vanguard. Uh, you need to reduce the toughness instead of destroy to be able to get them off the battlefield. So I had lethal the turn they played Carnage Tyrant when I was at 8. I could have dominance them for 8, go to 1, untap, and ping them twice with theater. Yeah, no, so that's... that was. That was certainly my plan. I decided to play Jaya. Playing the Jaya ended up being, you know, playing the Jaya ended up costing us that game, um, right? Because I, yeah, because I could ping him twice, and dominance for eight. But the thing is, is it, it turned out it wouldn't have been lethal though. Like if they would have just held the contempt up, if they would have not played another Carnage Tyrant, it would have held contempt up and contempted their own Carnage Tyrant. They would have gained life, but uh, we would have still had like the theater at that point. Like we would have been looking really good if if those things happened. Yeah, it was the the gain life from the contempt and then the game that Jade Light gain life. I know it was close. So no black mana for the opponent right now. So I don't have to worry about Karn getting uh, contempted. You may 
regret that choice. Don't have to worry too much about Karn getting contempted here. Speaking of contempt. The wilds are my shield. Hmm. How convenient. An excellent choice. I don't think our opponent has another land, which is why I'm using that shock even though we have a Kaya's Wrath. Honestly, that may be a waste of a shock. I may regret that later. I just had the other land anyway. Casual Alex with the sub with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that support, Casual Alex. I really do appreciate that. Sub number 12 on the day. Twelve. 40, 44 till the next 12 hour stream. And Neuter is getting on that hypo Your as well. Is Newt Wraith. Net Wraith. Ha. Huh. It's easier to read on the screen, it looks like. Net Wraith. Vader X. Getting the Armada out today. Yeah, I could have End Step, Instant Speed, Wrath. Um, Thunder Strike! Joining us. I wanted Theater Horrors in play, which is which is why I did the, the play I did. Um... So many subs, hard to keep up. S sub number 16 on the day. Uh, Elvish Pie also. I, I, I missed Elvish Pie. So much hype in the chat. Thank you so much for the love and support, everybody. A curious choice. Yeah, so glad that the, the sound effect is back for sure. All right, so we're going to be cracking open another pack after this. We're getting past the 15 sub mark, and we're down to 40 till the next 12-hour stream. Raging Nomad. Saying this party's not stopping. So number 17 on the day. Lightning Strike's a, a nice way to turn on um, Theater Horrors. Hmm. The Mortify traded well, but our, our opponent does have, you know, a, just a, a ton of cards in hand now. They got the Memorial of Folly that can get back um, a Carnage Tyrant. Alright, I should probably minus the Karn and, and get back Contempt next turn. Before this Karn goes away. I know I have, like, the other Karn also. Yeah. It's a good point to hunt. No spectacle cards in the deck. We don't really turn on spectacle too often. I mean, I guess, is this a, a spectacle card? It's kind of a spectacle card. Jaya Ballard. 
Jaya Ballard. The time has come. Nah, I don't I don't think they're gonna grab the Krasis back. I think they're getting the Carnage Tyrants back. I think. Could certainly be wrong there though, of course. Man, I don't want my Jaya to get contempted. Maybe I just don't play Jaya then? Uh, no, I'll just play Jaya. I can turn anything to ash. I think they're going to contempt Jaya instead of Karn. Oh yes, this will do nicely. I'm really glad we have lightning strikes in our decks instead of lava coils, though. Like how I, I talked about earlier, I wanted to play lava coils. All right, well, I'm contempting this crisis the next time. It's about to get horrific in here. Oh, we're down to 39. Won't happen again. That won't happen again. Hmm. I guess I'll just maybe I'll just wrath. You're just fuel for the fire. I know I can steal. Like, I can steal Hydroid Krasis here and kill it. I think no I'm just gonna fire, wrath. No steel. I should have picked up first, though. Not let my opponent know or have that info. Let's hope for something good. I'm not sure if I need these theaters. Maybe I keep one theater. How many cards do I have? I only have 26 cards in library. Actually, I'm pretty worried about decking myself with with these theaters. I'm gonna just get rid of them. I just still I have like this consume for a Carnage Tyrant. Um, the other thing is I do like getting the cards out of, like, I do like getting rid of these Theater 4 cards because they play Vivians, and they may have other disenchants. I don't want to, like, just keep stacking up, like, more Wraths and other things under this Theater of Horrors, and they just play the Vivian and blow it up, and then my Wrath is just gone forever, you know? So I, I do want to, you know, so I am, uh, wanting to play these cards from Theater of Horrors more. Jaya gone. Yeah, Karn has Karn has a consume as well. And a lightning strike. 
No fire. Discard. No steel. The choices we make reveal who we are. That's the card I want, Electro Dominance. All right, one ping, two ping. All right, I will go ahead and play this land so we don't have to pay any pay any life. So we get three pings this turn. Wait, stop. Ooh, there we go. End turn. Good. Memorial to Folly. Oh, they're going to crack this Folly. I'm going to Consecrate it. Oh, that is big game. Is it big game? It's regular game, but still pretty sweet. Oh, it's Hydro Crisis. That's big game. I'm glad it's not Carnage Tyrant because you can't... I couldn't tell like which Carnage Tyrant they were going after. The Hydro Crisis, I can tell. Boom. Nice folly. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for not just doing that on your turn. Uh-oh. Oh, it does now say targeted by folly above it? Okay. Alright, so I do have a consume for that one. What's our opponent at? 15. How much does Electro... If I go get Electro Dominance, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, with that one, 13. Um, Alright, I can, I can wait a turn. I'm just going to keep this in hand. Oh yeah, Angrath! Oh, I didn't count Angrath. Uh, we're still good though, right? So Angrath turns to 13, and then 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 13. Yeah, we're still good. Alright, Electro Dominance. For 11. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Play the Shock for free. No fire. And there we no go. Steel. Dead. D E D dead. This deck's sweet. We're just burning people. Three and one. Yeah, have to discard before dying. <laughs> Yeah, this deck's awesome. Mardu Control is pretty cool. How does this deck win against any life, life link, life gain at all? And we can just make, we can just make Karn Strucks and everything. Jai Blard lets us recast our spells. It's, it's really not hard to, to win against life link or life gain. Our, our opponent gained a decent amount of life there with uh, Hydroid Crasises and stuff. I don't know if they Wild Growth Walkered any life that, that game. Alright, we need lands. Ugh, it's not a land. This is a risky keep. No, no captive audience in the deck. That was a very hasty lightning strike on my part. Um, I could certainly just wait to see if they have an explore creature. If they don't, I can kind of sit back and wait for a wrath. But let's be honest, when when has Golgari ever not had Jade Light Ranger? Has that ever happened? Hmm. What casting the lightning strike does, though, is it allowed me to cycle there and try to hit another land drop. D 
Do you think white, blue, black, or white, blue, red is better? Um, it's still early, but I'm I'm currently favoring white, blue, black at the moment. Just sitting back, uh, looking for some kind of card advantage engine. Pawn's got a lot of cards in hand over there. So that happens when you play Jade Light Rangers and Midnight Reapers and things like that. Uh, for a standard, I mean, th I think that was the question. Meet my newest friend. What? Why couldn't I bedevil? Did I did I hit the pass turn thing? Oh well. I'll be back. Leo. Just like before. Oh, we didn't get. I didn't go grab the pack between. Uh, I didn't open up the pack before between matches there. Welcome to the stream, Leo. Thanks so. Thanks for the support there. Seven or eighteen on the day. We may get to to two packs. We get two more subscribers. I did, yeah, I hit auto pass, so my bad. I wasn't, turns out I wasn't using my mana that turn anyway, so it wasn't really, wasn't really a big deal. I wasn't doing anything with that mana. My mission is more valuable than your life. Yeah, we need a we need a theater of horrors or a planeswalker, you know, like those are our cards to win. If we don't don't ever find those, we can't gain enough of advantage to like we need those cards to keep uh keep pace with the Golgari decks. The question was about control, Rex. Car would be great. Um, I probably should have held lands before for Jaya. That's a, that's a good call. So yeah, let's hold these lands for Jaya. Um, if we if we find a Jaya, we get to cycle. I probably should have held a, another land or two. I'd be really shocked if we win this game. I'm not sure if I want to show them Theater of Horrors. Honestly, I don't think I do. We're very dead. I think we could add Treasure Maps and Discovery. Treasure Map's a good card. All right, let's, let's get these Cry of the Carnariums in against these Midnight Reapers. I know I didn't play very many of them before, but I think I want to put them in. I guess I'll put them in over the Mortifies. Was our opponent playing blue also? It looked I think they were just playing green black, right? Does that sound right or were they playing blue as well? I now don't really remember. No blue. Blue makes me want mortify more because of crisis. No blue means I'm more happy to have cry. Um I kind of want to fit in some duresses also. 
They're playing Vraska to go along with Vivian. Like, those things kill my theater horrors so much. I kind of want to play two Duress instead of these two Electro Dominants. Does that mean I'll just never be able to win if I'm not playing Electro Dominance, though? I guess I can cut a shock with playing Cry. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to cut a shock with playing Cry. There we go. And cut one card. What are the thoughts on Spawn of Mayhem? I really like Spawn of Mayhem. I think it's a, a really strong card. Um, all right, we got a Blood Crypt to put these into play untapped. I think, you know, we're still looking for a real good Spawn of Mayhem deck, but I like the card quite a bit. And then, uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing a red-black aggro list up next, this Rakdos Menagerie. Menagerie. Rakdos Menagerie deck. Menagerie is so much more fun to say, though. <laughs> More like a Midnight Weeper with Cry of the Menagerie. Nice. Well, my Mortifies. I took out Mortify from the deck, and now they have Bloodfast. Uh, no Epistemic. I've been... Uh, I have been uh, streaming. Do you think Kaya Usurper is vi viable as a Planeswalker in the current metagame? No, not really. Unfortunately, I really wish because I really like Kaya, but no. That's not a good place to have Angrath. The blood fast is really not that. It does make our our burn plan better. It certainly does make our burn plan better. Wow, do they just not have land? No, they have land. get the fine broker out of here for good because fine broker with like the memorial all that stuff fine finality it's just annoying i'm just gonna get that out of here for good and also get to keep my mana open so if this scenario which did happen happens where i get the land under the theater whore i want to be able to ping them and get that land Am I just going to Kaya's Wrath and then have the Consume to exile the Carnage Tyrant? Or should I just make them sacrifice? Um, man, I really want to get this land, though, too. Getting the land would make me take a hit, though. I don't, could just take the whole turn off and ping them and... I think Wrath, then Exile. I, I kind of like Wrath, then Exile. I guess if we if we sacrifice, we get a lot of life. Um, they can get it back, but it takes more time to get back, and then we have Kaya's Wrath. Then actually, let's go sacrifice. I miss not getting this land drop though. from theater, because that means I can't, like, theater car next turn. But as far as life total-wise, it's probably good to get that buffer. Whoa. That's a 
the thing. Alright, taking that land. Because again, like before, we know they have a, a decent amount of disenchant effects. Um, so I want to get these cards out of here as fast as possible. Mm. I'll take eight. No, bad journey to eternity. Bad. I'm glad we took that eight. Got that thing out of their hand. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me of pigeons. Good choice. Yeah, I can consult that thing later. Our opponent's down to 10. Our ping on plan is working. Sure. Are they dead? So we, we go get lightning strike, we lightning strike them, then we can play. So they're down to 7. No, we only have 5. We're two, two damage away from killing them. So I'm, I'm certainly getting lightning strike. That's going to happen. The time has come. Stop. Lightning strikes under under Karn. If they draw a card with blood fast, they die. I'm not sure if they know that though. Or, I'm, I'm. Wait, one, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, wait, no, I just have it, don't I? Right. Never mind. I just have it. Oh no, because I have to cast the lightning strike first. Right, I have to cast Lightning Strike first. I can't just cast Electro Electro Dominance right now. So I'll just wrath wrath this wrath this thing. Ah, long day. Past turn, we should be able to have him next turn. Yeah, we definitely have him next turn. I guess if they have another duress, maybe. Three. But they just have a disenchant. If they have a disenchant, the game's not over. No, there's not an Electro under Karn. It's the, that's the same Electro, like, that's still like the Exile pile. Like, so like, these are these are like the Exile cards under Theater. Ah, uh, they had the Disenchant. All right, we play on. I've lost so much already. And now they get to flip blood fast. <laughs> get that out of here. That was the problem with casting the light, Lightning Strike there. Oh, wow, they are incredibly far ahead now. I should've just passed the turn. I even thought about it. So I don't know so I wonder if my I wonder if the opponent would have Oh, stop. Crap, I forgot Theodore gets to ping Vivian. I've I could have pinged Vivian. That would break someone like At least you. they gained two lives so they're not they didn't get to flip blood fast.
I get one ping. So I, I couldn't kill Vivian anyway with just one ping. I'm a survivor. Whew. Four and one. Final boss time. Final boss time. There we go. Oh no, it's game two? We lost game one. Oh, I thought we were up a game. We were down a game. Oh no. Oh, I've been playing so many of these green black decks. They all just kind of go together. All right, we're not four and one. Over, overzealous. Bleh. All right, do I want Mortify for Argyle's Bloodfast? Um, Cry the Carnarium didn't. Um, look too special there. They didn't have Midnight Reaper. Maybe we take one out for Mortify again. Kind of want these duresses. Kind of want these duresses. Yeah, we get to play game three. That's what I meant. We get to play game three. Yeah, I like to rest and mortify and cry and shock. There's, you know, there's a lot of a lot of cards that are all just kind of situational uh, that we just kind of have in the sideboard. Some. No. Oh, the the duress bug didn't work. We didn't draw the same card that they took. Usually that usually that uh, works. No land drop for the opponent there. No land, no land. Keep on going. Keep bringing it. Dang. Hey, what's up, Yager? Let us begin. Are you certain of your decision? I realize the team are mid-range video is ready to go up on YouTube. All right, all good there. Um, they gave me duress, huh? I'm going to play Angrath here and start ticking up on Angrath. Start attacking their hand with it. So no Karn's fire. getting us card advantage. No Angrath's steam. taking, is you know, like reducing. So we're gaining more resources with Karn, reducing our opponent's resources with Angrath. And hopefully this combination helps us win. 
They discarded a jade light. They probably just have like millions of jade lights. Millions of jade lights. Jade lights for me. Millions of jade lights. No fire, no steel. Yeah, the rampage of the clans deck was sweet. We went uh we went five one with our Revel the Revel and Riches, Rampage of the Clans, Smothering Tithe deck. What we never really did very much with Revel and Riches, but Smothering Tithe and uh Um Rampage of the Clans were sweet. Our opponent knows about this duress, so Yeah, I guess they were keeping they're still keeping fine finalities in their hand. Uh, I kind of want to take the Vraska Relic Seeker, honestly. Like, fine finalities are just creatures. We can we can deal with creatures. I want to get that Vraska out of here. I guess. I guess Angrath is ticking up, though. I'm, I'll take a find. I know the finds are really slow, but it, it just stocks their hand. Hmm. I'm not letting them draw. So we'll just Your take their Midnight Reaper. My freedom. <laughs> A fair price. And so I'll strike this thing. And we'll get to draw a card with Midnight Reaper now. There's the Jade Light. They almost had it on turn three. It was only turn eight. It's close. No fire. No, no fire. Steel. There we go. I was planning on just playing the second Angrath here and, and uh, getting rid of the first one um, and just clearing the second card out of their hand and just make it so they just don't have any cards in hand. Um, that was my plan there. All right, four and one. Final boss time. Because either this is our last match of this league. Either we win and we get to five wins or we lose and our pick up, we pick up our second loss and we are done. So we got final boss crack pack. Ooh, cancel. Is this cancel going to work? Oh, hit that cancel real clutch. We. All right. Cracking our pack. That's right. We're getting to 15 subs. All right. What set are we getting a pack from? Let's go with, let's go with Rivals of Ixalan. We haven't gotten one of these in a while. Rivals of Ixalan. I wear a tie because I like how I look in a tie. That's how I like to present myself. Time Stream Navigator. Hey, that's a cool card. That's a cool card that I have not nearly played enough. Awesome art. Love all those lines, whatever they're doing. Navigating, I guess. Cool. Yeah, Stephen had 2.1 thousand people in here. I'm guessing it's uh, not too many other people on, on the Sunday night. All right, we got to get our final boss song from Final Fantasy VII. Ooh, it could be Gates. You're calling Gates for the final boss? I bet it's Mono Red. No, it's Asper. It's always Asper. Da, 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 da. Ooh, looks like it's Asper. It 
It is. All right, let me play this Theater Horrors opponent. Oh, it's the Esper Aggro. Okay. Well, that thing probably needs to die. I could kill that, but I could also wait for a Wrath. I think I'm just going to get this Theater Horrors in play and just Wrath. I do like one winged angel uh, quite a bit, um, but I don't know. I could see people kind of being a little annoyed at one one winged angel, like it, like the high shrieking noise noises in the song. But it is it is very epic. Um, you know, as anybody who plays the game, I'm sure loves it. But I could see somebody who's not attached to the game and hearing it for like the first time being a little annoyed. Sephiroth. Well, so much for the whole wrath plan. At least, I'm glad we still get uh, theater horrors, though. I like theater horrors being in play for us. Hmm. Hmm. Is it more likely they have an enchantment or an artifact or a planeswalker? I have contempt for other planeswalker, so let's go with Mortify, let's, or let's go with Bedevil and, and keep Mortify for enchantment. All right, so y'all are saying like Dovin is like their only planeswalker? No. Rude. Give me that back. I wanted that Angrath. Has a perfect draw. No fire. Tick up. No steel. Turn on these theater horrors. That works out really well. Oh, I need to watch out for Eldest Reborn. Close. Temper the blade. Swine. No fire, no I guess they just have all lands. So they had like three cards. Four three cards total. Hero, Thought Erasure, Deputy, and all lands. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, they've had three cards in all lands. Usually the final boss is they usually give the the final boss a little better hands than this. Hard a larboard. The other larboard, fool. Yeah, final boss needs to morph into its into other uh you know, other form. Do you think Bedevil is good outside of standard like in modern Jund? I don't think so. Well, maybe you get to destroy an artifact with the card too. Actually, yeah. I kind of like it. You know, it's not like a card you're gonna, you're not gonna play four bedevils, but yeah, destroying an artifact is pretty big game in standard. Or sorry, in modern. Sorry. Hmm. There goes my Electrodominances. 
both of them. May take a little bit longer to win this game. No fire, no steel. Okay, you don't like it in Jund because they have... A little shock this thing because they have... Um, Assassin's Trophy already, that's, that's fair. That's certainly fair. Turbo Theater. No fire, no steel. I thought you could play cards exiled by any dominance. Any theater. Oh, okay. No, I the theaters are the theaters are individual. They they are different. They are their own individual things. Get out of here. Going towards that Angrath ult. I don't no know if I've fire. ever Bolted no an Angrath before. Four, four, two. Sorry, get that out of here. There we go. So they have 11 cards in the graveyard. That will kill them. I can also just take their Thief of Sanity. But I wanna I really want to ultimate this Angrath. No fire, no steel. I haven't ultimated an Angrath yet. Our actions our token. Off. Say hello to my little friend. Angrath it Ultimate. The ult animation is awesome. Oh no, I hope I get to do it. No. Ah. That's a man. That, yeah, really wish we could have done that. Really wish we could have ultimated there. Okay, don't you wish we could have ultimated? Okay. Seraph the scale is pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to game two. Um I guess Cry of the Carnarium is probably good. Bleh. Against 
Thief of Sanity, Hero of Precincts 1. Um, there are plagues of other, other cards that didn't kill. Um, so if I play a couple Cry of the Carnariums, what am I cutting? Maybe Consume? Doesn't seem like a matchup I need Consume. They're certainly going to have Duress and Negate. The fountain in the sideboard is against for like the mono red burn decks. Um, that's what it does. It, uh, it gains you life in those matchups, keep you alive. <laughs> yeah, glad you're liking the playlist. Okay, you have the tail. Your tail. Hmm. I kind of want to shock in here, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to shock in here. I think it's worth it to have the ability... Where they play a creature, we get to, we get to kill it and then untap and, and play theater. You can find my playlist on right here on Spotify. Does Deputy Detention ever stay alive? This is just trading one for one though. What did we lose to? Um, I don't really, I don't quite remember what we lost to. Played, you know, just playing so many matches over and over, it's it's kind of hard to remember them all. That card's good. I am Khan. <laughs> I'll make use of that later. Um Have you played any afterlife decks and or decks with Tesa, like aristocrats type decks? I have. I've played some Mardi Aristocrats. Um and we are gonna be playing a a similar deck, um, not as much with Afterlife stuff, but Rakdos Menagerie uh, has Grease Menagerie in it. But yeah, I played um, Mario Aristocrats a couple of times. Uh, you can find the, the deck list there in, in the decks part, or you can see the, the videos on YouTube with that. I did not have any Tesas, and the first time I, you know, I played for Judith, the second time I played... Uh, Three Judith and an Ajani, and I regretted having the Ajani instead of the Judith. Um. I 
All right, no counter spell. There we go. Final boss defeated. Yeah, Hawkeye would be the final boss. Five and one. Yeah, I wasn't too impressed with that Esper deck, but it also seemed like they had really bad draws, though, too. But it seems like that kind of deck can have those bad draws. Ooh. I was like, wait, we only got one rare, but then we have one rare, some random rare that uh, we haven't had yet. What's our rare? Fire Mines Research. Oh, I guess I guess there was a Guilds of Ravnica card that I still didn't have four of, I guess. All right, cool. Yeah, Mardu Control was a lot of fun. And I really liked the Theater Horrors. I thought that was um, pretty nice. Where's my Mardu Control deck? There it is. And Consume was, you know, better than I expected. We played against a lot of Carnage Tyrant decks, which is exactly where you need it. Uh, our sideboard's pretty silly. Um, Duress and Cry is good. I I don't really like Fountain or Banefire, especially Banefire. Um, but I don't know. We didn't play against, like, a hard Counterspell deck too much. Uh, but it seems like four Banefires is kind of a lot there. I, I feel like you, you could be... I feel like we could be using our sideboard slots better here. Um... But the main deck was was honestly pretty good. I actually I really liked the lightning strikes instead of lava coils. I was wrong about that because we are like the burn plan. Electro dominance is pretty cool. Um, our removal spells are awesome. You know, mortify, bedevil, contempt, uh, and then Kai's wrath. Like these removal spells are great. Um, so so there's that. Angrath was really impressive. Um, yeah, fun deck. Fun deck to play. Um, the Bant Adapt deck, that one's pretty... I think I like... I would prefer the Bant Midrange or the Bant Value, either of those, to the Bant Adapt. I'd recommend checking out those two Bant decks. But there we go. All right, if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.